Welcome, welcome here on I need help at C square. In this example, we're going to look to horizontal and vertical asymptotes, and also we're going to use limits to describe uh, the behavior of this rational function. So, first of all, let's take a look to vertical asymptotes, and I have a definition here. We have a rational function, right? It's a quotient of two uh, polynomial, and how do we find the uh, vertical asymptote? We're going to set up the denominator equals to zero. Right? That's what it says here, uh, the vertical line given by the non-removable discontinuity. That means set up the denominator equals to zero. If you have that moment where the denominator is equals to zero, those are the possible vertical asymptotes. Remember, they have to be non-removable. In this case, we have no situation where this Q of x is equals to zero, so no vertical asymptote. It is easy, right? This one. What about horizontal asymptote? In this case, we do have horizontal asymptote. And again, you see the same rational function, and we have three situations, these three. So you need to look which one works for you, right? And if you take a look here, the degree is 2, the degree is 2. So that means we are in this situation. When the degrees are the same, so y will be a over b. I said there, where a is what? The leading coefficient of the p of x, the top of the fraction, the numerator 2, and the leading coefficient of the denominator, bottom of the fraction 1. Okay? And that will be simply 2. That is the uh, horizontal asymptote. Also pretty easy, right? But let's take a look to the last part. And you see the graph here, by the way, which you can see no vertical asymptotes, right? But also we can see this guy looks like y equals 2, right? The horizontal one. And now we're going to do the last thing, the limits, right? So since we do not have vertical asymptotes, we have just two limits, this one. Which means what's happened with the function when you go closer and closer to negative infinity? That will be positive 2, right? Because the graph is going closer and closer to positive 2. And we have one more. On the other side, right? Like polynomial function and behavior. Right? F of x. And that one also will be 2. And that's it. This is this problem. If you enjoy this video clip and you learn something, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared. Thank you.